Bon dia or hello to my channel Quinta Entre Aguas. My name is Matthias. This is Simba. And there lies Ida. It's a sunny day, about only like 14 degrees. Um, it's not raining, so it's dry, blue sky. I like it very much. And I thought I. Uh, take you with me on uh, one of my morning routines and that is walking with the dogs the border of my uh, property. Um, gives them a little bit of exercise and me as well. And um, I leave the camera rolling and will um, speed up the walking part uh, in the editing process later. Hope the camera will last. I had it charged up, it was like 96%. But I don't know if it can run on one single battery for uh, 20, 30 minutes. That's, that's it what it usually takes me to uh, walk around. And um, since we had a bit of rain uh, the last days, already can hear a little bit of the of the river waterfalls now waterfalls are uh, where the water is speeding up i'll show you in a sec so uh, Quite a bit of water since it was dried up in uh, end of August, beginning of September, and Simba is enjoying our route pretty much, running around doing nonsense, and Ida is trailing us. So uh, yeah, I did, or sometimes I uh, take a bag, a trash bag with me and collect uh, all the stuff that I don't want to be around on my property. And I don't even know how this glass is getting here, because it wasn't here the last time. Very strange. Maybe birds um, move it. I don't think the water was that high already. But it looks like a nice, whoops, like a nice stream. This is an old watering system where I believe he, on, on this on this thing was a, a donkey running around. Pump. Okay, I don't know what happened, but my camera said it needed to repair the file. So I guess I have to start another one. Anyway. Let's continue the walk.
So, uh, this is pretty much the view I fell in love with. The ruin and the gardenias behind it. Nice, isn't it? Let's continue my round. I don't know what to do in my case. Sarena. The first river is the Ukraza, which goes quite. Uh, it's, a, it's a big river further down, but I'm close to its uh, spring, so it's not that big of a river, and even it dried out in the summer. And this is the other river. Well, it's not really a river, I think. Uh, it's not really a river, I think it's just a stream uh, coming, or a beak, coming from, uh, from Lurisal, and then at the end of my property, at the tip, it uh, mouths into the Okreza. And uh, even this little body of water has quite a nice amount of water and it's flowing fast. I'm not sure if you can see it on the, on the video. And uh, of course, more shoes. Why not? I mean, they are everywhere, amongst other trash. So, uh, my two and a half hectare will take some time to at least clean the surface. I don't even want to know what's buried underneath. But yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna walk again with a, with a trash, trash bag. And uh, usually it's full or nearly full when I'm when I'm done and I only pick up what I see I'm not even searching just walking around and pick up what I what I see all right continue with the with the rounds another nice view so happy I bought this place and that I'm I'm feeling really privileged to be able to live here and wake up to such a scenery. <laughs> Hopefully in the future I can share that with other people, but that's still a long way to go. And that's my neighbor's property. Very often there are sheep there. Simba is doing his job of uh, marking the territory so that the wild animals know that uh, this property has dogs and this part is a little bit wet and in the shade you still can see a little bit of uh, morning frost um, and yeah and there's a lot of water here Ida probably love it yep she's having a morning drink A little bit of morning frost in the areas that's in the shade and now we come up to my well there's Ida trailing behind slowly but she enjoys her time here even though she's 11 and her body is not as young as it used to be. The well is quite full. Hope you can see that. I only have five, five stairs. 
I was talking to some people in the local cafe. Uh, we talked about the ruin and that I didn't, didn't know how old exactly it is. And they told me they had uh, a year number downstairs. So I thought maybe I can find something. So I started to re remove the cement or concrete <coughs> by using a hammer and just uh, like this. So I cleaned all of this, but I haven't found a, a year number yet. I'm uh, going to try the same thing here. What a difference now you're seeing in it before. And uh, I'll show you when I'm done. Later. I have done this one as well. Um, I don't see a, a number popping up. It was just an idea and I actually just tried with a hammer and it worked. So also here I can't see any sign of a, of a number. What I do notice is that it seems the cement is wet. You can still see it here and here it's already drying up, so uh, here it's dry and, and there it's still wet. Not sure why the method with a hammer worked, if the rain of the last couple days was a factor to make it easier, I don't know. But uh, no numbers here, if you know where I should look next let me know. Uh, if you know a good method to remove this cement from the credit, i like to hear it as well. Because, uh, don't forget, I don't have a background in construction or anything. So everything I do, I do the best way I can think of. But I'm not always thinking of all the ways possible. So, uh, if you have an idea, let me know in the comments. Alright, later! We have had quite a significant amount of rain in the last uh, days and weeks and all that moisture was not too good for my uh, driveway or internal dirt road. Let me show you what I mean. <clears throat> So as you can see, this is quite deep and very muddy. This side is not too bad, but here it's uh, time to pay some attention to it. Um, up in front is a little patch, which is quite sandy. It was muddy, but we had also last two, three days sun. So it's dried up again. And uh, here you can see where the water from the main dirt road, for lack of better name, was coming into my property. So. I need to do something about it and I thought um, I still have a bit of uh, sand and gravel laying around from uh, <clears throat> when we did the concrete floor in the tech room. So why not utilize that and also uh, this part has a few uh, potholes, so uh, if I have time left I uh, try to do something there as well. 
this is the sand and there's the rest of the gravel and uh, it happened twice now that I took the corner with a Tesla too sharp and hit the, hit the sand so I start from that side and uh, see what I can do and if it helps if you have uh, another idea how to fix that uh, that road let me know in the comments below and uh, maybe I can uh, try that the next time I'm gonna set up the camera on a tripod and see what I can film all right later I'm afraid it's time for the dogs to get fed, so I'm gonna call it a day. If nothing else, I made this corner a little bit better to pull out with the car. But let me show you, um, because I think it's not really good to see on a time lapse. Let me show you what I did so far. Not done obviously but uh, it's a start and as you can see I'm sweating so it's a workout too who needs a gym if you have a farm anyway so uh, I managed to do this part this part well basically as far as you can see the sand I would say close to half and what I did is I uh, threw in the sand and then I uh, pre-compressed it with my body weight and my feet so uh, 85 kilos on uh, size 43 shoes it's not that much but uh, once I'm done, I'm gonna use the Tesla, who, which weighs more than two tons, I think. Uh, 2300 kilos or something like that. And then I'm gonna use the Tesla to drive up and down slowly a little bit to compress the sand. And then uh, or maybe I put first the gravel and then drive a Tesla over. But uh, like I said, it's enough for today. The sun is about to uh, go down. Turns out it was a lovely day. Even was able to charge up the car more than it was. So yeah, 
I guess it was a good day. All right, later or tomorrow or whenever. Bye, now, later. Today I need to do some hmm, bureaucratic, bureaucratic stuff, administration stuff. So I'm just left at my uh, at my new accountant. Uh, he uh, added a new activity uh, to my tax uh, account, which is for the olives, olive trees, and everything uh, about it. And. Uh, a lot of traffic today and he gave me uh, contact details of a person to help me with uh, registering the farm at the correct uh, instances and apply for subsidies so uh, I called that person and waiting for a call back to make an appointment and in the meantime I go to Castillo Branco do some more shopping and get more electric supplies for the cables on the roof and to the generator to hide them a little bit better. So stay tuned later. I've just been to Akri Termas and it's now official. I'm a farmer. My property is registered as a farm for now only olives, but uh, in due time when I start with a veg bed and more fruit trees and stuff uh, that will be adjusted. So uh, another milestone checked. All right, later. I'm back at the farm and today was a successful day. Although I didn't do anything on the farm, I did a lot for the farm. I went to my uh, accountant. He registered uh, a new activity with the tax office. I went shopping in Castello Branco, get some more um, electric supplies, uh, uh, white conduit, as Jamie called it, uh, to work away the, the cables on the roof. And I uh, was able to register the farm as a farm. <clears throat> so uh, another administrative hurdle passed and uh, tomorrow it's back to get uh, the road fixed all right thanks all later hello it's already late in the afternoon today um, let me show you what i've achieved the other day up till here i went through with both both cars but uh, in contrast to the last day when I was working on the road, I'm not gonna put the camera in multiple spots. I uh, probably gonna put it uh, over there and um, have the time lapse running. And then uh, hopefully you can see me coming around with the uh, wheelbarrow. Uh, which is uh, up there probably can't see it so uh, I set up the camera and then uh, start bringing more sand and at the end some uh, gravel at least what I've still left what I still have left all right later
as you might have seen, I started with the gravel a little bit. But to be honest, I'm not in shape for this kind of work, as you can see, probably. But uh, that's not, not only it. It's also time for the dogs to get fed. So I, I will call it a day for today and see uh, when I will continue with the, with the gravel. Um, Tomorrow I probably go on ahead to Castello Branco once more. I need to change my address on my vehicle registrations to my home in, uh, in Luris Alto Campo. So hopefully I can do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. See you later. I just came out of, uh, where is it? Registo, and I changed the address on my license plate registrations of my vehicles um, with the result that um, the license card has been made invalid and, and I got the temporary document which I have to carry with the vehicle until I get the new registration cards which should take eight to ten days. Well, we'll see about that. All right, later. I made it back to my farm, as you can see, and uh, with a settling sun or the sunset behind the trees, I'm uh, gonna conclude this week's video. Um, <clears throat> going to Castello Branco for the uh, license plate registration changes did take more time than I expected although it wasn't the only thing I did in Castello Branco I like to stack multiple jobs in one road trip so I also got more um, electric supplies for the cables for the generator to put them away nicely and I w uh, passed by my accountant to discuss uh, some small things. So yeah, it's just, like I said, the sun is setting, the dogs are hungry, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna conclude the video for this week. I hope you, you like it. If so, hit the like button. If you wanna uh, watch more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. Um, yeah, and since the video comes out on Friday, I hope you have uh, a nice weekend and uh, watch my next video as well. And as always, stay healthy, stay happy and have a good life. All right, bye bye.